Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the next video in the Fast API tutorial. And in this video, we will learn about request body. Now, request body is typically used when we want to post something to an endpoint. Say, for example, when we want to add data to the database through the endpoint, we use request body. So, to understand better, let's get right into it. So the first step that we do when we want to post data to an endpoint is to actually give a structure to that data that we are going to post okay so we have to make a model of that data and in fast api we do that using pydantic so we have to import a class called base model from pydantic And then create a new class so let's say new employee that's going to inherit the base model and here we can provide a structure to the uh, data that is going to be posted so we here we are basically going to add all the details about the employee so that would include emp id this is going to be an integer we have the name which is going to be a string we have h which is going to be an int again and we have themes that's going to be a list right so this is the structure of the data that's going to be posted next let's create the endpoint so let's say app dot post so here we are going to use the post method and we'll say add employee okay then we create the function with the same name and here we will say employee it's going to be new employee this class okay so normally in type annotation we have we used to mention int string etc list etc right but here we are passing the class of the base model okay so this way the function will come to know that this is the structure that is being expected next we have to save the incoming data into the database so for that we'll create a new instance called new employee equals employee and we'll say emp id is going to be employee dot emp id so here this employee is this okay a new employee is an instance of this employee class so then we have next we have to add name employee dot name age is employee dot age then we have teams equals employee dot things okay so we have created a new employee instance of this employee class where we are adding all the data that we have received uh, from the post next we will save this it's a new employee dot save okay then we return a message saying that employee has been or we'll say employee added successfully okay looks good let's go back to the document refresh we have the add employee uh, endpoint and here you can see request body with this structure now this is the structure that we created using the pydantic model where we say employee id name age and teams okay so this structure is provided by this pydantic model this one here okay so now let's try it out employee id so we have employee id one and two so i'll say three and i'll add a new employee it's going to be jeff and juice ages 21 and will be in the marketing team okay, i'll execute this and i get a return message saying that employee has been added successfully 
So now let's go back to the MongoDB Compass, refresh this page, and you can see a new data has been added here. So that is working. Now, what if like we did in the previous example, we want to make age as optional, but whenever it is provided, we want it to be greater than 18. To achieve that, Fast API provides something called body. So from Fast API, I can import body. So similar to path and query, here for request body, we have body. So for int, we can say it's going to be body none, but whenever it is provided, I will say greater than 18. Oops, greater than 18. Okay, let's go back, just refresh. I'll add another employee, let's say Elon Musk, age is 17, and teams is say engineering. I execute. I get a message saying that this value should be greater than 18. So we have to provide the correct value. So the validation is working. So I'll say something like 45, execute, and employee added successfully. We go back to MongoDB, refresh. We have one more employee that has been added. So that is essentially how request body works. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we will learn about implementing authentication to the endpoints that we have created. Thank you.